Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh right here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, happy Sunday. It is June 25th, 2023, and we're back doing an MLB The Show 23 video. And um, I decided to, if you guys could tell, uh, if you saw the title of the video, we're going to try and do a fantasy draft series no franchise series no I'm not too sure if this is going to be like the Brown series where I just show games or you know we just simulate uh, just until you know we run out of time to do the video or when, when we run out of time uh, to record and stuff but uh, the thing is with the Brown series it just wasn't really going anywhere uh, I wasn't really enjoying it too much and uh, I don't know. It's just uh, it just it wasn't really going the way I hey, I wanted it to. But uh, we're gonna do a new series today. Uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this series. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And so since we're doing a fantasy draft, I guess it's fair if we pick a random team. Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes just shuffle through some teams and uh, whoever we get land on that's who we're gonna be one two three ha ah. the Brewers okay uh, I guess we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be the Brewers for this series okay so GM contracts uh, I guess we can just leave that on we're, we're only gonna do like one two three seasons anyway fantasy draft is going to be on uh, force trades. I'm not really too sure. I'm going to have budgets off. Just because there should there'd be no budget since it's a fantasy draft. Um, actually, I'll, I'll have it on. So, ignore budgets are on. DH rule is on. Pretty much everything is on except for uh, allowed non-active free agents. Non-active players will be present. Um. Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll just leave those off, and then we'll go to uh, the draft. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna do this. I may just draft up until maybe like the twentieth round. Like this first episode will probably just be me drafting players and going through the league and stuff, and then uh, the next video of this series will probably be um, I don't know probably then we'll probably see either gameplay or we'll just go through the series so before we um, jump into our first pick so we gotta see so we got the bird we have the 21st pick so let's see uh, who went before us shall we so we saw that Mike Trout is gonna go to the Rays the Rays had the first pick and they chose Mike Trout okay uh, Shohei Otani looks like he's going to stay with the Angels. Shane McClanahan's going to stay on the Royals. Spencer Strider to the Nationals. Jordan Alvarez to the Diamondbacks. Aaron Judge to the Pirates. Brian Acuna to the uh, Giants. Austin Riley will stay in the AL or in the National League East, but with the Phillies. Mookie Betts goes to the Twins. It's weird. The Twins. So if you guys don't remember the Mookie Betts trade. Um, was actually a three-team trade, and I believe that third team involved, of course, was uh, was the Twins, and then, of course, Red Sox and Dodgers, of course. Uh, but the Twins were in that trade, and I believe they got Rick Hill or Kenta Maeda in that trade. I'm not too sure. But uh, Julio Rodriguez going to Houston. Corbin Burns to the Astros. Sandy Alcantara to the White Sox. Bryce Harper to the Guardians. Mino Classe going to the Mariners. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to the Rangers, Kyle Tucker to the Braves, Byron Buxton to the Cubs, Jacob DeGrom heading back to the National League East, but he will stay with the Marlins, Juan Soto also returning to the NL East, but with the Mets, Trey Turner will go to Cincinnati, and then we've got the 21st pick, and then the Cardinals, Dodgers, Rockies, Padres, Orioles, Red Sox, Yankees, Tigers, and Blue Jays will all get the pick after us, so... Uh, but even though we got the 21st pick, uh, there's still a pretty decent 
amount of players that we can choose from. So let's see who should who should we get? That's a that's a big thing. So we can go with like the pitchers, like we Verlander, Scherzer. I don't really want to go with anybody that's like super young or not super young, super old. Zach Allen's available. I saw Paul Goldschmidt on, on the table. He's a 96 in this roster. Or, um, I've seen some rosters where Paul Goldschmidt was like a 96. Alonzo's a 90. Freddie Freeman's down to an 88. Jose Altuve's a 93. Uh, then we got Machado, Lindor, Correa. Lots of great shortstops that we can go with. Brian Reynolds, Michael Harris. So we could probably have him as our first pick. Like we can have like a young center fielder to kind of build around. Or Tatis. Tatis is an 88 in this game. I'm sorry, but that does not look like Fernando Tatis. Hmm. Well, what does the game recommend we get? Man Machado? I don't know. I don't know who I really want those my first pick. Like, bull, bullpen, relievers. Like, we can get those later on throughout the draft. And, you know, we could also trade for relievers, too. You know who I may go with? I really want Zach Gallon. I really want Zach Gallon or Shane Bieber first. Or do we go with a, th a good third baseman? Ooh, Matt Chapman's available. Raphael Devers is available too. I think I'm going to go Chapman. Matt Chapman probably or... Oh, that's, oh, this is so tough. This is so tough. Oh boy. Just six really good third baseman right here. I don't know who to go with. I'm going to go with Matt Chapman. Or I could go Devers just because he's younger. Ah, oh, man. And we'd have him for a very long time. And But Matt Chapman, he would just be... I'm going to take Raphael Devers. I got to take Devers. Let's take Devers. I'm going to take Raphael Devers. So we'll see who else is... A Ah, uh, Zach Allen went to the Padres. Dang it. That was going to be my second pick, just in case. So, the Cardinals went with Machado. Shane Bieber to the Dodgers. Jose Ramirez to the Rockies. Padres got Michael Harris. Goldschmidt got, or went to the Orioles. P. Alonzo is, looks like he will be uh, a Red Sox. Yankees went there. Noah Carlos Rodon goes to the Tigers. And Nolan Arenado heading to uh, Toronto. So, so let's see here. So Devers was our first pick. Now we can kind of go with the pitcher. I'm going to go with someone a little younger. He's a lefty. I'm going to go with Julio Urias from the Dodgers. Urias is kind of a weird player. Like, some people say he's overrated. Some people think he's underrated. I think he's in between. Um, so, uh, so how I'm going to do this, I may just go to, like, the first 15, 20 rounds and pick players. So, the next player, we might as well go with the shortstop. And I'm going to go with uh, Tommy Edmonds. I could go with Devers former teammate Bogarts. Might as well I'll call this the Milwaukee Red Sox. <laughs> uh, so second base. I'm going to go with I'm going to go um let's go Gleyber Torres. Why not? Let's go Gleyber Torres. And then the next round we can probably just focus on pitching. Ah, oh, Kyle Wright got taken. No. All right, so we'll go with pitching now. Let's see. We'll go with... I don't want to go with anybody like super young, though. Or not super young, super old. Why am I saying young? I want. I, I want... I don't want a lot of, like, old players. You know what I mean? I don't want... I don't want old players. 
Um, but uh, who do we want? Ranger Suarez. I've always liked him. Another lefty to add to the rotation. Let's go with him. Let's go with Ranger Suarez. Probably not the best pick, but whatever. It's, uh, it's my video. Next pick, we're going to go with Jordan Montgomery. If you notice here, I just drafted <laughs> three lefties in the rotation. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just drafted like three lefties. All right, we're going to go with relievers now. Let's go with Andrew Munoz as our first reliever. And then, ooh, okay, so we need some outfielders. Outfield's getting pretty sl pretty, um, pretty thin. Let's go with the rookie. Not a rookie, but I was, I was going to go with Yoshida. Yeah, we can go with Yoshida. He has better speed. But Austin Hayes has better power, or has better contact versus lefties. I'll go Austin Hayes. And then if Yoshida is available, we can go back and get him. And Yoshida. As they go to left field, he is still here. Um, maybe we can move Austin Hayes to center and then Yoshida can play left field. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay, so next pick, we're going to go with a, another clo Let's go with the closer. I'm going to go with... Wow, they made Jorge Lopez a closer? Hmm. Wow, there really isn't that many good closers, huh? Guess we'll go with AJ Puck. I mean, he's the youngest. He's a lefty. But these are cool. <laughs> okay, so we need um, we need some infielders. So we need first base, catcher, and we need a center fielder, and we need a right fielder. So let's go with the first baseman now. And uh, should have taken one earlier. I'll go Jared Walsh. Um, good power hitter. Sorry, I'm texting a friend at the same time. Let's go with the catcher. And I'm going to take... I usually take Ryan Jaffers. Usually does pretty good for me. 25 years old. Okay, so next pitcher, uh, we're going to take another pitcher. Might as well take another pitcher. Ooh, Gio is available. Well, I did take a pitcher. Just... <laughs> Alright, let's take a really, let's take a, uh, a starter this time. Martin Perez. This entire rotation is going to be filled with lefties. <laughs> Braxton Garrett, he's a right. Up, oh, he's a, he's a lefty. John Gray. I'm not sure if Dan Dunning's available. Cause if he is, that's who I would probably take. As I keep scrolling down, yep, he's available. And he's righty. I'll take him later in the draft, though. Cause. Uh, might as well go with the center fielder. Let's go with, um, there's a Siri. Let's go with him. Or Jack Z Zuwinski. He's actually hitting really well at the Pirates. But we're going to go with a Siri because he's going to be a leadoff hitter. Alright, so now we'll go with some, some pitching. Let's go with hmm, John Gray, maybe hmm, Chris Paddock for a season wouldn't be too bad, but I really want Dan Dunning. Let's go Dan Dunning. 
15th round already? Wow. So now we'll go with some, some outfielders. Oof. Cassianus is a 77. And it can give us some power, probably. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, so... Any other positions we need? So, so far... We just need a number 5, so... We'll go with... Andrew Heaney wouldn't be too bad now. Hmm. Kobe Allard, 25 years old, former Ranger. I mean, we can. We can. We will. We shall. <laughs> so, this entire rotation, except Dan Dunning, is going to be. Are is going to be lefties. So we have Urias, we have Montgomery, Ranger Suarez, Colby Allard, and Dan Downing. And then our relievers so far Munoz and Gio, AJ Puck, our catcher. Uh, we can go with a backup catcher later. Um, let's get some more outfielders. We can get like another bench outfielder, maybe like uh, Brett Phillips, maybe. We'll go with him. So we'll go two more rounds. And I think I may spend these ones on like relievers. And those relievers we're going to get are Nick Anderson. Because he does good for me for like a year. And then... The next... The next guy we're going to get is maybe uh, maybe a utility guy. Maybe Eli White. I'd be down to get Eli White. Where is he? He's got 99 speed. He can play anywhere. Let's do it. Need a utility guy. So now we're going to get another pitcher. Like I said before, another reliever. And then we're going to get probably a backup catcher. And then actually, this will probably be our last pick. Dylan Lee, Jimenez. We'll go Joe Jimenez. So this is going to be the simulate. Let's see who... Oh, we got Austin Martin. Never heard of him. Alright, so everything is going to be on manual except scouting. Advance. Uh, we'll go to the regular season. So we're going to take a look at what the other teams did. We'll take a look at our team as well. So, so far, we have Julio Urias, Jordan Montgomery, Ranger Suarez, Colby Allard, and Dan Downey as our starting pitchers. And then we have Mad Bum and Asa Lacey and Triple A. So we got Mad Bum. That's cool. Mad Bum's here just because. Uh, bullpen, Munoz, Gio, Nick Anderson, Amy Garcia, Joe Jimenez, Matt Barnes. I used to get Matt Barnes all the time in like MLB 19 and MLB 20. Kyle Crick too. So we got AJ Puck. There's our catchers. We've got Ryan Jeffers, Hunter Goodman. I could probably tr trade for a backup catcher. Jared Walsh, Glaber Torres, Elvis Andrews is on the team. That's pretty cool. So next up, Rafael Devers. Is there a third baseman? Shortstops are Tommy Edmond, 
John Birdie. And then outfielders Austin Hayes, Yoshida, Jose Siri with Brett Phillips in AAA, Cassianos, and Brian Anderson, who is currently on the Brewers in real life. So, yeah, that's the team. And we're currently ranked sixth. So let's see the other rotations. I guess we'll start with the Pirates. So they got Jeffrey Springs, Luis Garcia, Singa, Turnbull, Danny Duffy. And their bullpens, Michael Givens, John Brebbia, Matt Stram, Gregory Soto. We can get, just kind of go through different ones here. So Cardinals, they got three lefties in their rotation. So they kind of did what we did. Lorenzen or Keedy. Eric Lauer, Brendan McKay, Clark Schmidt, Milo Pagan, JP, Kendall Graveman, Matt Moore. This guy's still this guy's still playing? Really? And Ryan Presley. His McCallers. Rockies have a decent rotation. Blake Snell, Michael Kolpick, Michaelis, Ryu, Andrew Painter. Huh. Dodgers have a nice Shane Bieber Zach Gallon. that's a nice little rotation by the Padres have Zach Wheeler Giants are giving Strasburg another chance Orioles went all righties in their rotation same with the Red Sox they have Scherzer and then the rest of that rotation just looks a little gross Irandola Rays one did not look really good Blue Jays don't really have a strong team e rotation either. Well, they have a good rotation, but their bullpen looks a little weak. Ah, uh, should have gotten Dustin May. I'll, I'll, I'll probably trade for Dustin May. Guardians have all lefties except Griffin Cannon. So they got Nestor, Trevor Rogers, Alex Wood, Griffin Canning, and Ricky Tedeman. I don't know him. Bullpen's not too bad either. Tigers got Carlos Rodon and Chris Sale. Wow, that's a good rotation. Shane McClanahan, Trevor Bauer, Mike Soroka is your big three. Dang. Royals are Royals. They're not messing around. And Otani staying on the day on the Angels with Walker Bueller. Angels got Chris Archer. <laughs> okay, Gordon Burns to the Oakland A's. Kershaw went to the Mariners. And then I'll, I'll kind of just go through these. Verlander to the Rangers with Adam Wayne at two. Man, that would have been a great rotation in like 2013. Braves rotation doesn't really look that great. Marlins at Jacob DeGrom. Besides that, their pitching just looks horrible. That's, that is not a good rotation. That's not a very good looking bullpen either good lord Nationals don't look too bad Cubs got Max Freed Garrett Cole and Tyler Glass in the same bolt rotation so Cubs look like they're going to be our big competition and then let's take a look at the lineups so this is ours and then kind of going through the league Brian Hayes staying on the Pirates Miguel Rojas, Aaron Judge, JT Ramuto. Man, this is a good lineup that the Pirates have. Cardinals. So they got Steve Kwan, Michael Brantley, Manny Machado, Jadge Chisholm, Ryan Mountcastle, Brian Crawford, Travis Darno, Max Muncy, and Andrew McCutcheon. So kind of an older lineup besides Jadge Chisholm and Ryan Mountcastle, but... Who they got Volpe too and Aaron Hicks on the bench? Okay. Okay, Cardinals. Okay, okay. And then we're just gonna take a look at the rest of play Michael Harris on the Pirate on the Padres. Trevor Story went to the Padres. Cunha on the Giants. Goldschmidt on the Orioles. Starlin Castro still playing. Just Still banging in there. Ellie De La Cruz went to the Red Sox. Pete Alonzo and Matt Carpenter on the same team. Um, so, but yeah, we're just going to take a look at the rest of the league. And then I'm going to wrap up this video. 
Bader went to the Tigers. Tigers have a nice little younger team. Harrison Bader and O'Neill Cruz. So then, yeah, we'll just take a look at the rest of the team. You guys can just look at your favorite teams. Wow, the Marlins have a nice little team. They got Tatis, Bogarts, Ian Happ, Garrett Cooper, Will Smith, Reese Hoskins. Edwin Rios isn't too bad. Marlins look like they'll be a decent team. Kind of want to see what the Cubs are going to look like. So the Mets, the Phillies. Nationals. Did we see the Yankees? We'll take a look at the Yankees later. Alright, let's see the Cubs. Their rotation is good so far, and then their their lineup. So they got Andrew Benatendi, JP Crawford, Starlin Marte, Byron Buxton, Trace Thompson, Brandon Lyle, Ryan McMahon, Seth Brown, and Sean Murphy. And then on the bench, Max Stacy, Anthony Rendon, Adam Frazier, and Derek Dietrich. So they got um, two former Angels players, and then that Robbie Ray played for the Angels. Oh, yes, he did. Uh, but then you have the Reds, nice little team, and that's our team. So I don't know if we saw the Yankees. Maybe I went too fast, but here are the Yankees. And yeah, it's not a great team. I've never thought I'd see Jose Altuve on the yet. Yankees. I also never thought the Yankees would drop people with facial hair. So, looking at the standings, so who's ranked first? So, who's ranked 30th? So, the Cardinals are ranked third. Brewers are sixth. The Cubs are first, probably because of that rotation. And then, who's ranked 30th? Looks like the Yankees are 29th. 30th is probably going to be probably the A's. Yeah, it's the A's. Oh well. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if I should continue this as a series. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to uh, continue the brew this series uh, tomorrow maybe. I'll probably do another video. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.